welcome to Super Mario RPG for the Nintendo Switch. Mario's first ever RPG adventure has been fully remastered and it's looking amazing. This is especially exciting for me because I never played the original game on the Super Nintendo, so this will be a totally fresh experience for me. Throughout this adventure, Mario will be teaming up with both new and old friends throughout the Mushroom Kingdom to take on a huge new enemy. So with that being said, let's get started with Super Mario RPG. So, as with most Mario adventures, it looks like we're starting in a bright sunny day here at the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess Peach, enjoying the smell of the flowers, the beauty of the butterflies, but oh no. This good time can't last, because Bowser always shows up! And you know what he's gonna do. <laughs> he's gonna steal the princess. Bowser's a lot of things, but the biggest thing he is is predictable. <laughs> but hey, looks like Mario overheard it happened right in his front yard! We're off to save the princess already. So whoa, this is Bowser's castle and oh man, this game is pretty already. This is so cool. Bowser's flying Princess Peach all the way back to his castle with his clown car, but Mario honestly made some good time there. He's already at the front door. Whoa, and they're letting us straight in. Spooky. I love the little run. This game is so adorable in so many ways. Whoa, so here we are. So like I've said before, I've never played this game, so I really don't know what I'm running into or things we might miss. I'll try to be very explorative and just interact and fight as many enemies as I can, but it looks like we're just going against one of these Koopa guards straight away. So this is a Terrapin, and we have the ability to attack, item, special, or other. So let's just try and attack for now. Sure. Okay, I was able to throw a punch. That seemed like it was good enough. Good job, Mario, you win. You get some experience in coins. And yeah, it works like a very typical RPG would. Obviously, Paper Mario and Mar Mario and Luigi, but more than that, a lot of the Square Enix games, who is actually who developed the original version, things like Final Fantasy. All right, so let's try that again, because I did see with the exclamation mark, maybe if I time it right, I could do some extra damage. I'll have to wait and see, but I'll definitely go out of my way to fight as many enemies as I can. I don't know, speaking of which. They're going for me. Did they attack first? Because they swung? I guess not. Okay. Oh, that time I timed it right. That was really good. And I can also time the block. Gotcha. So can I do anything special? We can do jump, stomp those, push A just before one hit, or before the hit. Okay, I think I'll save that for later, um, just in case we run into a more difficult enemy. For right now, we're doing fine, just throwing some punches out to these Terrapins. Good job, Mario. We're just going through the big door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Things are already a lot more stressful. So we have all these fireballs jumping around and it's gonna run right past them. Oh no. It looks like we're not going back the way we came in. We'll have to find a secret exit somewhere. Whoa. Everything's all spiky around here. Oh, and here's Bowser's throne. Uh, heads up, Ario. Princess Peach is dangling from the chandelier. Get back here. And Bowser's up there too. I guess he clears the weight limit. Let's go for it, we're just fighting Bowser straight away. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. We'll see about that, buddy. So let's go ahead and just do an attack on him straight away. And we just sort of walk over and give him a punch. Uh-oh, he's gonna do the same thing. He hits us for only one damage out. Okay, let's try a special then. We'll try the jump move for three flowers, which I guess we have 10, so we should be good. Not bad, we get 35 damage. Oh, couldn't quite block it. Mario, the chain, attack the chain. Oh, the, the chain to Leer. <laughs> okay, I like the pun. So instead of attacking Bowser, we'll attack the chain to the chandelier um, right over here. And maybe that'll make the whole thing fall. Not quite right away. Okay, attack, attack it again. I'm still not doing very good at blocking, but I'm sure I'll get more practice in. All right, uh-oh. Whoa, hey, the spike attack. That was crazy. Mario, the chain. I know, I'm working on it. Maybe I should use a special move against it. What a joke, put some muscle into it. I think I might have blocked that time. Anyways, let's try the special jump on the chain to Leer. Nice, 36 damage. Oh, there it goes. What was that sound? No. 
It's a chain reaction. Hang in there, chandelier. I'm only going by the skin of your teeth. Whatever you do, don't let go. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Coming, Mario. Whoa. Fight, Mario. Fight. Oh, we're falling off. Oh no, how do I get back on? Can I move? This should finish you. Not another. Not good. Not good. Whoa, we're falling all the way down. It's a long fall. We're both falling for a while. Bowser looks so upset. <laughs> Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Whoa! Ugh, foiled again. That was a cool move by Mario, but Bowser falling all the way down. Uh oh, come on, just a little higher. <laughs> oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Eek. Is there an earthquake? Mario, the whole castle is shaking. Not good. What is this? Did Bowser finally land down there, or is there something in the sky? What is that? A giant sword? Uh-oh. And it broke through a star. Oh, and straight into the castle. That thing is huge. And it doesn't look very nice. Super Mario RPG. All right, what a start to the action. Whoa, and we just get launched straight out of the castle, poor Mario. And we're back at Mario's pad, Mario house. Oh, this is so cool. Watch out below, here we come. Oh, perfect. Or maybe not. Is he okay? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, he's on the coat hanger. Hey, Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Princess Peach, since she's a bit late. Uh-oh, how do we break the news to Toad that, as it currently stands, we don't really know what happened to Peach. That sword went right through the castle. Well, he can bounce on the bed. <laughs> All right, that's cool. You know what they say about that, very dangerous, so we gotta be careful. Whoa, we can turn the light off and just take a nap. That's so cute. Okay, it looks like he got comfy overnight. We're really keeping Toad waiting. All right, wake up, wake up. What else can we do? Uh, Not really too much more. Very cute though, this game is just so charming. Okay, so here's Toad. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So, where is she? Mario, what's with, that, with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? I'll certainly try. Mario, I forgot something important. If you get knocked out, you'll wake up at the last place you saved. But guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically whenever you go between areas. It'll save all the time, so if worse comes to worst, you won't lo lose too much. Progress, am I right? You can also hop on this thing to save, just like the good old days. Use them however you like. They're great for taking a break from your adventure. That's everything important I can think of. Now get yourself to Bowser's Keep. Sure, but how are you doing? If you're tired, just turn off the fungi light next to your bed for a snooze. Well, we already did that, so I just hop onto this and we can save. Very cool, so I'll just save right there um, and we'll get back to the game. All right, I'm so excited to be playing this. Is there anything behind Mario's house? Any kind of treasure? Uh, doesn't seem like it. I don't know if there's any button to press. I'm pressing A and it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Okay, we'll head down here then. Whoa, and we have this overworld. So we can go back to uh, Bowser's Keep. Here we are. Looking a little familiar, right? But this time a giant sword through the center of it. I wonder if Peach and Bowser are okay. I, huh? Hot, who goes there? A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans, and this is the first step in them. If it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. 
So let's see you deal with this. With what? Oh no. Oh no. Watch out, Mario. Oh, how are we gonna get into the castle now? The bridge is broken. I don't like this guy one bit. <laughs> I do like the giant Bowser Mountain though, that's pretty cool. Okay, Mario made it back in one piece, that's good. Gonna have to find another way around. Okay, well, that sort of wraps up what we can do there. We might as well go back to Mario's pad and fill in Toad a little bit. Maybe Toad can give us some advice? If Toad is even still here. Let's go back to our house, maybe he's inside. Oh, here he is, hey buddy. You're back so soon, did you forget something? No? What happened then? Okay. Uh, we were walking. Oh no. Ah! And the bridge fell. Pretty good charades by Mario. The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. We must inform the, sh the, the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Sure. Is there anything else I can do in here before we leave? We still don't have anything in our storage box. We have a lot of extra hats and clothes and stuff, which is cool. But it looks like we're good to head out. All right, so. Toad's not out around here. Once again, I just wanna make extra sure there's not like anything back here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, seems like a place to hide a secret, but before we walked out this way, hey! Watch it. Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Got a mushroom. Whenever you want to use an item to get some HP back, press X. Eating a mushroom can give you a boost whenever you're feeling tired. Ugh. Now, why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Oh no, Goomba! Ah, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about action commands? No, I don't. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter a battle. I guess against this Goomba, or two. Timing is important in battles. I'll show you what I mean. First, push at. Attacking, defending. So of course we can attack one of these two Goombas. Let's just this one on the left. Hold it! Now hit A as the attack hits. Ooh, 34, and then even hit the other Goomba. Good timing. Once successful, your damage increases. Press A with perfect timing, and your attack will damage the surrounding enemies too. Nice. So it's right as the attack lands on the opponent. Hit A as enemies attack too. Whoa, good timing. If your timing is perfect, you'll take no damage. But action commands won't save you from attacks that hit your whole party. Now try a special move by pressing Y. So of course we tried these one, one of these before. Jump, can use that right here. Whoa. Push A here. Gotcha, and we got a chain there too. Cool, good timing. Depending on the move, sometimes you'll have to do more than just press a button. So keep an eye out for that. By the way, each time you nail an action command, this action gauge fills up a little. When the action gauge reaches 100%, then your enemies better watch out, so look forward to that. <laughs> the more successful action commands you do, the higher this number will go. If you can do it two more times in a row, some buffs will start to kick in. For you, Mario, the action gauge will fill faster as power wells up inside. I know that's a lot to take in, but never fear. If you press B during battle and select help, you can go over any of this again. You can even see the explanations outside of battle by selecting help from the menu. All right, that's great. So we got a little bit of a tutorial. Don't forget it's there, okay? I'll try to remember. Okay, so there is that done. Learn a little bit more about battling and defeated two Goombas. And there you have it. Now you stand a fighting chance against those monsters. Ugh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right, we need to tell the Chancellor about Peach. I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Got three mushrooms. Awesome, so yeah, I guess we're free to move around here. We should probably save again, and then we'll go through the, uh, the little pathway to get to the Mushroom Town. All right, so it looks like we have to just go down this way. Let's see what we can find. So I think we'll go back to the, yeah, the level select here, and before we can get to the little kingdom over there, we have Mushroom Way. All right, so Mushroom Way, whoa. We already got a Goomba to fight here, which if I think if I jump on them, maybe I can get sort of a leg up on the attack or not. We still have our three chain from the previous fight, so let's see if I can't. Did that work? Oh, that worked, perfect. 
Oh, and I blocked that one too. Awesome, so now we're getting into a little bit more of a flow. Then we got a six chain this time, and we clear up two Goombas, no problem. All right, that's really good. So obviously with it being a typical role-playing game, um, the more enemies we defeat, the, the more experience we'll get and the farther ahead we'll be for future challenges. So I think as it currently stands, as we're getting used to the game and I'm definitely still learning it. Whoa, I got HP max there. Oh, I couldn't quite block that one in time. All right, we'll have to sort of do better the next fight. But as I was saying before, the more enemies we defeat, the stronger we'll be for later fights, so I'll definitely take my time to defeat any enemy, any enemy that pops up for now. I might not do that as much later on, it really depends. But, uh, okay, couldn't quite get that one. Let's try again. Not bad, 34 damage right there, and we win, we get two experience there, not bad. So what's going on over here? Whoa, we got some Koopa Paratroopas, which I was able to jump on top of. So far, that really hasn't done too much in terms of, like, starting the battle off with an extra attack or something. Okay, I got a chain there. Whoa, okay, and I blocked that one with perfect timing. That was great, so there we go. Got a four chain. Oh, that was great. We got a big boost now. And I got six chain, so. Oh, we get the attack again. Nice, we're doing really good. And we're halfway to that meter on the bottom left. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I guess we'll figure it out. Okay, and another Goomba. Okay, let's. Fight you two, and then, oh, oh, couldn't quite time it right. There we go, much better. We have taken some damage, but seeing how we're still above half health, I don't wanna worry about the mushrooms too much. I'll get some coins out of this. Don't mind if I do. There we go. And some more Koopa paratroopers to fight. All right, so I'll go for this one on the left. That was a chain attack. And I block that one, and that one. So now we get an action gauge, gauge boost, which is nice. And we get the six. That was good. Ah, uh, wait, okay. That one wasn't a perfect, but it was still a block, so it still counts. We're up to nine, which I think is our highest score so far. Not bad. And we leveled up. Whoa, we're on a stage and everything. Good job, Mario. Mario reached level two. And with this one, we get, I guess, max HP, attack, defense, magic attack, and magic defense all upgraded, which is pretty good. And I guess we get to choose a bonus. Yeah, get a bonus, choose one. We can either do physical, uh, which ups our attack and defense, HP, which ups our max HP, or magic, which increases our magic attack and magic defense. And this is definitely where I'm at a bit of a disadvantage with just not really knowing too much about the game. I don't really know what might be the best to max out early, but I figure I'll go one at a time. For now, we'll do physical, then we'll do HP, then we'll do magic, maybe just cycle through them. But there we go. So, with that fight done, oh, there's a poor little toad that needs your help. Give me one second, I wanna grab these coins, and then we'll save ya. Stomping right on top of the Goomba, let's get the fighting. That wasn't so bad. Gauge up, whoa. Ah, oh, but I always mess that up. I always think they're gonna jump right on me and attack that way, but not quite how it works. All right, so, two more experience, and we save this toad. Phew, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Got a honey syrup. I wonder what that is. So, I did want to pull up. Yeah, let's see. We got mushrooms here, which recover 30 HP. And we also have honey syrup, which recovers 10 FP, which I'm guessing is flower points that we use for our special moves. Cool. Okay, we're continuing this way. And what's next? Even more Goombas over here. Watch it, buddy. Whoa, hold on. Let's get you. Okay, two more Goombas to fight. I'll start with this one. Whoa, that was huge. Oh, I press A way too soon for that every time. <laughs> it's okay. We knocked that one out and we're at 97% for our gauge, so that's pretty cool. But over here, what is this? Whoa, I got a flower tab. Flower items will permanently increase your max FP, letting you use more specials. These are super important, so don't forget them. And does that just raise his FP by one? I'll, I'll try to use that soon then. I don't know if I should save it, because I know there's other characters. I don't know if you can use it on them, but we got the paratrooper here. Since it's just one of them, maybe I'll try a jump. Since I haven't tried the timing, I just did it there. And there was a weakness, well. Some elements are especially effective against certain monsters. You can deal big damage by taking advantage of these weaknesses. Huh, that's good to keep in mind. Another enemy to take down there. What is going on with this Goomba? Uh, can I stand on these two? I guess so, it doesn't really do anything for me. Seems like there's multiple ways to go here. I'll take you on. There was another toad in trouble right over that way, so we'll do that soon. 
Oh, I got the big chain attack there and the flower. But what's going on with the gauge now? That's at 100%. I keep pressing these the entirely wrong time. So I do my gauge move. Toad assist. Toad comes running to support you. Who knows what you might get? Sure. Uh, whoa, whoa, what is that? So I just get random items. Power mushroom. What will that do? Attack up. Okay, I don't know how much I need that as a, uh, there we go, as Mario against some Goombas, but uh, good to know, good to have. Okay, I did a little bit better at blocking that one, I think. There we go. We're back into it. That was very cool. So I'll probably wanna save that gauge for maybe more difficult battles than just a couple of Goombas, but I got a mushroom out of that chest and then right down this one, I'm gonna bounce off of you and go into another fight. Okay, so over here, oh, I didn't quite time it right, unfortunate. Okay, so they jump, spin, and then attack. Even then, I'm still doing it too early. Whoa, that's new. Did he just like shoot a tooth at us? I don't know. That was really weird. Anyways, we win, we get three experience from that for the three Goombas and whoa. Whoa. Oh, I can like get a super high jump off of it. Okay, cool. And yeah, I'll try to save this this toad now from the paratrooper. So we can use our special again just like this. And we got that weakness, and it was also a chain attack, so not bad. You win. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. Got a flower tab. So okay, we're gonna be able to increase our flower points by quite a lot here soon enough. Doesn't submit us too much over there, so I think it depends on what time I jump, like which way I'm facing, where I actually end up going there, but we get some more flower points, it seems. And then, boom, going this way. Whoa, hey, watch it. I got a pick-me-up, as well as a couple of Goombas to beat up. Uh, not quite the good timing I was looking for, but we do get our HP maxed out. Got it, okay, there we go. 42 damage from that, and then blocked it. Not a perfect block, but a block. Okay, we're building back up a little bit more, and you win. So you can see so far, the gameplay is pretty straightforward, at least for the beginning of the game, when it comes to different moves and stuff that we can do, but overall, it's all about the adventure and the things we unlock along the way. The extra characters and the extra abilities will make a huge difference. And whoa, it's a Lakitu. Uh, I can't quite reach him from here, but I can fight his little spiny friends at the least. These are the Spiky and the Paratroopa. So I think I'll try just attacking the Spiky. And that wasn't so bad. Um, and then I get to attack again. There we go. Able to knock out the Spiky before they can attack us at all. Oh, nice. Always getting that perfect block for that one, specifically for some reason. But there we go. Not bad. We win that. Get some extra, whoa some extra experience and stuff. I do want to look around before I fight more spikies, because it seems like there's just going to be an infinite amount of them. But maybe up here, is there anything cool? Like these are the spots where I want to jump around and make sure there's not like a hidden question block or something. Okay, I might have to go and fight some of them, or maybe Mario can just jump right over. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Leave that toad alone. All right, do I just fight you? Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Oh no. So who is this big guy and his friend? Oh no, hammer bros. Not good. So let's start with something maybe a little bit more drastic. We'll do the super jump here. Nice, get 40 damage straight away. Oh, and I wasn't quite good at timing that. There we go, much better. Okay, we're gonna attack again. This time just a normal attack though. Able to knock out the hammer bro with it. And a couple of extra coins, not bad. Valor up, I wonder what that does. Maybe like increases their damage or maybe defenses. Oh, uh, couldn't quite block that one in time, I don't think. There we go, extra damage. I guess I did block it. Do I have to press that every time? I don't know how that works, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Ah, uh, getting a little low on HP, so maybe I'll finish this with a special move just like this. Not enough, uh oh. Okay, that wasn't so bad, right? Hard to tell. I'm just throwing more punches at you. There we go, that was a good timing. Let's go for one more hit here and that knocks you out for good. Awesome, so a ton more coins for us and hopefully we've dealt with these hammer bros well enough that we can save the toad. 20 coins and six experience is quite the jump and we also get a flower jar. All right, 
Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. The Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Ooh, there's a hammer. Hey, where did this hammer come from? I guess it was dropped by uh, the hammer bro we defeated. Hey, do you know what this is? It, it, was, it has the hammer bro's insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you want them with this. Whoa, you never know, it might come in handy. Very cool, picked up a hammer. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, so I don't know if there'll be too much more after this. There's still more of these spike guys running around, but since they seemingly responded indefinitely, I don't think we want to knock them all out because just more would pop up. Okay, so there's Mushroom Way sort of cleared out. Now we can make our way down here to Mushroom Kingdom. All right, so we've arrived in the Mushroom Kingdom, and wow, look at this place. Definitely a different look for the Mushroom Kingdom than we're used to for other Mario games, but hi. I haven't seen Princess Peach lately. What, Bowser's got her again? Indeed. Okay, so I don't know if they'll have more than one thing to say, but I figure we'll explore the Mushroom Kingdom as much as we can, talk to all the different characters and stuff. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. Okay, we'll go say hi to them, for sure. Oh, I guess he's eating. All right, what's going on over here? All I do is cook and clean. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully they can help out a little bit, give you a bit of a break, and what are you doing jumping on the bed? Be careful. One, two, three. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario? Uh, sure. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> please be safe. Okay, so I don't know if they'll say too much more. So, because, you know, in some games like this, you can talk to characters again to get, like, extra information or extra dialogue. I don't know if this is that kind of game. Okay, so, what about you down here? And all the toads have different looks in them, too. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing, what you're standing in. Uh, what? Grass? Oh, ha, gotcha. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, I guess she's trying to make it seem like I stood in something. Okay, I see now. Hey, did you just see a crocodile around here? He talks like a mobster wannabe. I haven't. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Oh no. Who do we have in here? Say, hey, Mario. Guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. Oh, that's great. So, this is Rainy. Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? I don't, but I hope you find one and I hope it all goes well going on over here. So this is where I would think that there's like a question block or something you can hit, but so far not the case. Well, you're zooming. Mario, I'd make a great sidekick for an, for you in a few years, right? Don't worry if Bowser shows up. I know just how to get his goat. Well, I hope to see you all growing up and help me out. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. What's going on in here? Hello. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. I agree. Oh, well, is there anything cool back here? Not really. Uh, whoa, what is with this fancy star building? Uh, hello, it's an inn. Nice. Why don't you crash for a while? It only costs you, cost you three coins. Sure. All right, so it looks like we're taking a little nap here, which is good, because we're pretty low on both HP and FP, so we can rest up here. <laughs> Seems like a good nap. What about you? It's not like I'm always sleeping. All right, heading down this way. And it looks like I can maybe, yeah, save over here. And I'll just save where we were before. Because I'm not level one anymore, I'm level two, making our way up in this Mario world. Oh, and there's somebody down this way. Don't talk to me now. Oh, are they playing a Game Boy? It looks like they are, cool. Wonder what they're playing, maybe Mario Land? Okay, anything cool going on down this way? Looks like it, welcome. A lot of creepy looking thugs have been sneaking into town. Not on my watch. So yeah, let me know if anything peculiar happens, but, oh, it's an item shop. Mario, what a pleasant surprise. One of the Frog Sage's grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him now. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? Okay, so we can buy or sell. I don't have anything I want to sell at the moment, but maybe if they have some new items for us. As you can see, they have the mushroom, honey syrup, pick me up, which revives a down alley, or ally and cleansing juice, refreshes status during battle. Let's try this one so I don't have any. There we go, we'll buy that. And then there's also, I guess, different clothing options. Like we have a shirt and pants. So we got shirt, it's a shirt and pants. It's a pair of pants. Let's go ahead and get the shirt for seven coins. And I guess we could equip it on Mario. 
That gives him some extra defense and stuff. And then a pair of pants that I can't get equipped with Mario, I guess because he's more of a fan of overall. So there we go, we'll buy it, but we won't quite use it yet. And then we also have these like, different like special items. You have jump shoes, use jump attacks against any foe. Oh, I see, so I'm guessing it's sort of like Paper Mario or Mario and Luigi where if they have spikes on the top of their head, you can't quite jump on them, but with an item like this, we could, but we don't quite, we can't quite afford it. Antidote pin prevents poison damage. So these are definitely worth saving up for. I definitely will. But in the meantime, we'll back out of here and take a look around. Oh, is there a basement? Spooky, oh, there's somebody down here. I order you to stand before me. Uh, okay. I now order you to jump. Whoa, hey, here we go. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. This should help too. Got a signal ring. Don't forget to equip it if you're hunting for hidden treasures. A signal ring will let you know when there's a hidden treasure near you. It has no effect when not equipped. So I guess I have to go and equip it. How do I do that? Okay, so there's a couple of things going on in here. First, we'll equip our accessory, which will be the signal ring. Reveals the location of hidden treasures. And to our weapon, I can equip the hammer, which pounds enemies. Whoa, okay, here we go. Now, what about our other stuff? We have our special jump, but as we get more levels, we unlock other stuff. For our items, of course, we've been looking through these quite a lot, but our journal, the monster list. A guide to the monsters you've encountered up to this point, which obviously we know is like Goomba, Paratroopa, Terrapin. Um, and I guess maybe we could learn more about them as we continue forward. That's cool, so maybe we'll look over this once we're done with the game and I've actually found all the enemies, but very cool to see that for sure. So I don't think there's really anything else we need to do in this menu, but there's a hidden treasure nearby. Okay, does that mean somewhere in this room? I mean, obviously we found one right here. I don't think it means that one again, does it? I'll look around and we'll see. Uh, can I talk to you again? I wish you luck in the future, thank you. So far, I'm not really seeing much, but what happens if I leave this room? That notification goes away, but it goes back on. So it's definitely somewhere in this room. Whoa, I found it. Okay, it was on top of his head, so I had to jump on him. Interesting, good to know. So now if I leave and go back in, you can see it doesn't give me that notification anymore. Interesting. All right, so we'll head down this way then and see what else we can figure out. I just wanna explore the Mushroom Kingdom as much as possible, which this leads me back outside, doesn't it? Uh, we're about to find out. Whoa, it does. So I didn't mean to do that. We'll go back into the Mushroom Kingdom, just like this, and we'll explore around. Luckily, it leaves us right where we left, and I've been in this one, that's the inn. We already slept there, so we're pretty happy with that. Have I, yeah, I've been in that building, but here looks like just the big castle. Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. Okay, we're heading in. Mario, there you are. I'll tell you, I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. There's a hidden treasure nearby. <laughs> okay, so we could look around for it, and I definitely will, but I don't know if I wanna go crazy searching every single inch of everywhere straight away. Gotta be around here somewhere, right? <laughs> but I guess that means that we will really have a lot of exploring to do. It might even be up there where I can't quite reach at the moment. So let's take a look at these other rooms. Is there much I can do around here, I wonder? So far, not really looking like it, but we can go through all these doors and, oh, hi. Oh, this is Peach's room. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? I can only imagine. Okay, we can have fun on our bed, but uh, we'll move out of here. We don't want to mess up all the blankets and pillows and stuff. All right, let's go into this one. I'm guarding the treasure room, sorry, but you'll have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. All right, no problem. And whoa, what's going on in this room? The fault card better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Oh, the guest room, huh? So I guess this is maybe where we would stay if we were having a visit. Let's head out of here though and over to the Chancellor who seems to be over in this direction. Oh, there's the toad again. This way, please. All right, I'm following you. Okay, I'm guessing that's the Chancellor. Seems pretty important up there with the big chair. Sir, Mario has arrived. Okay, and talk to all the toads. This way, please. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost trapped my spores. Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? 
She departed for your house hours ago. Well, you see, she's still in the castle. I fear the worst. Could the ba could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? I definitely think so. Whoa, whoa. So, so Mario is like, explaining what happened with Bowser. Spore's alive. You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Peach. Oh, but the bridge is broken. <laughs> Bowser fell down. Peach was seemingly saved. But then, the sword came down. We got knocked out. <laughs> Quite the charades going on. He God, the keep is unass unassailable? What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Hey, Mario. You're making sure to equip the things you get, right? Shall I have Toad to ex explain the process? I already learned it, but just in case we're missing something, let's make sure. You will equip things using the menu. Please press plus. Right down here. First, choose equip. Confirm with A. You can equip these. Choose the hammer and press A. Okay, so we can equip that, then you're set. Very cool. There, now I feel more at ease. You can buy armor and accessories in item shops. Now then, take care. Mario, oh no, that must have hurt. Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. All right, so I guess we'll be allowed into the basement now. That's cool. So we'll go straight down there. There's still a hidden treasure. I have a feeling it's up there, which clearly I can't quite reach that, but maybe we'll get like more jump height or something later. Mario, the chancellor has filled me in. The vault is this way. Sure thing, so we'll just follow you right over here. Here's the vault, let me show you around. So we're just following this toad right down here. Whoa, look at this. Help yourself to the treasures. So in this one, we have a mushroom. This is a mushroom, but you knew that by looking at it, huh? These mushrooms you get from treasure chests don't quite, don't work quite like the mushroom items. Treasure chest mushrooms will store both HP and FP when you open the chest, but you can't save them for later. Mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP, but you can take them with you to use whenever you want. Gotcha, so these are sort of instant. And then inside of here, we have an FP flower. This is a flower. These flowers from, these flowers from treasure chests work a little differently from the flower items. Treasure chest flowers increase your flower points, FP, as soon as you grab one, but you can't carry them with you. Flower tabs, on the other hand, you can take with you. If you use those from the X menu, they'll increase your FP. And then right over here, we have some coins. This is a coin. The small ones are worth one, and the large ones are worth 10. This one's, this one's a 10. Cool. Do you know about flower points? Uh, no, tell me. <clears throat> Very well. FP is consumed during battle when you use special moves. For example, a jump attack uses three FP. When you jump, your FP will decrease by three each time. Run out, and you can't use these moves. An item called a flower raises your maximum FP. Recover FP with syrup, mushrooms for chests, and at ends. Awesome, so now that we're all ca caught up on exactly what we do, I guess we can just sort of head back to our adventure. So we're supposed to be heading out here, right? Oh wow, come back here. Whoa, it's that crocodile character and, whoa, who's this? Oh no, are you okay? Come back here. Whoa, this is an exciting chase. Oh no, are you okay? Oh, the big jump, oh. Didn't quite make it. Poor thing. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Boo hoo. I, I, I can't cry. Big boys don't cry, but it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Whoa! Oh no, poor little guy. I feel so bad. 
So what was going on with that? Who was that reptile who stole that little cloud person's things? I'm not really sure who they are, but we'll find out soon enough and hopefully we can help them get their things back. But for right now, I think this is a good stopping point. Of course, this is just the first episode of many that we'll have here exploring the game. As far as I understand, this is a really long game, so we'll probably have quite a long series ahead of us just enjoying everything it has to offer. I know that I've probably missed a couple things on the, le on the way, but I do want to remind people this is my first time playing through, so if you guys have any feedback or tips for me, I would love to hear it. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario RPG. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.